Now then, you two, welcome to the final episode of today's recording session where we are in the FA Cup against Newport County. And today, I want to give these two a go. Ricky and Will. They're only going to improve if they get a chance to play. Ricky at right back. Will's at left back. Burrowhan on the bench instead of Smith. Very strong bench. I'll start Collins again, actually. Put Sabulski on the bench as well. So there's the team. Although, actually, do I want the first team out? Because I've got... We'll put Davis in as well. Roberts could... Davis, Chester, Wilkes, Bird. Okay, so... That will play. Play Smith. Knight could play. Then we'll play Thompson. And there's Lancaster, Collins, and Barkhouse. That's fine. Just a couple of first teamers, a couple of not, because I understand that next game in about three days' time I'm playing against third Our place. Two men getting the debuts today, the right back and the left back coming up from the youth squad. I mean, he's 69 rated at 17, this lad here. Number 14, Ricky. And over here, Wilkes, number two. Good start. Passing it straight to <laughs> the opposition. But he does well there. Wins the ball, gets a throw. Throws it to Chester. Chester and Davis, age and experience. Not very often I start them together because they're, you know, slow. But, you know, I'm hoping the youngsters and the pace at fullback can help them out if needed. The right mix of age and experience across that back line. Two 16 and 17 year olds. And then two people in the mid 30s. Wilts, really good tackle there. Oh, ref. Davis caught the man in midfield, though. Itch. Well, this is a moment the 17 year old has doubtless been yeah. dreaming about for Collins. Barkhouse, and every time you run, please tell me you have. Oh, Derek, big moment here. Ball in. Knight no, can't quite get it. Thompson. Barkhouse and back to Wilkes. And then there's Lang. Collins. Oh. It's a really good ball in. And Collins, if he gets it to those positions, usually wins the header, but. Oddly doesn't score it. He usually buries those. And they continue to Corey Smith. And a lot of options here. Great ball. Making sure nothing untoward happens. Smith. Can he find the Thompson. Be Scored a worldie about four or five episodes ago. Thought I'd go for it. That definitely wasn't a worldie. Ricky has been absolutely taken out. Really good feet. And he's got a yellow card for Will Evans. Well done, Ricky. Jason Knight, for once being able to play in midfield. Um, obviously, usually at right back due to a lack of position there. His, his, I'd say his favourite position is centre midfield. But he's just not had the opportunity to play there due to having millions of midfielders and not many right backs. This looks more than and there's Lang to the byline. Cuts it back to not Smith. Attempt, so Thought the keeper were getting caught out for a second. Goal. Goalie's ball. Thompson. Jason Knight. An alert intervention. He takes out his man this time. Smith play, wins it. A very long advantage pulled back by the referee. 
Drysdale. Ricky does well. This knight does not. Ricky again. Knight. Would be good Mendes if uh, Ricky could stake a place in the first team, then Knight would get more chances in midfield. Oh, he had the shot there. Ball over to James Collins. Oh. Side netting, not the back of the net. Mendes line dinks it over the keeper and it is just just an inch wide of the far post should be one up here at least Collins good ref ref let's watch this he did not get that ball there I refuse to believe that he did No, that's Jason Knight's foot. Jason Knight, you can clearly see there, touches it away. He might get the ball after he's absolutely fucked the man. But that's a fucking stonewall foul. Chester, Barkhouse and Smith. Over, really lovely. To Mendes line. Looking for Collins. Good cross, Collins was there. Good defending from the man, nothing I can do about that. And, so it is the and at half time, it is goalless in the FA Cup. Second half, let's go. Okay, let's go. Second half is underway here. Nice interception from Collins. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Oh, and there's line. The I felt like I was just going to get caught, I just had to hit it. Corey Smith, good header to Barkhouse in there. Corey Smith. To Jason Knight. Shit shot. Too comfortable for day. In Newport's net. Smith. Thompson. And giving it away. Not quite. Hold on, Davis. Here's Ricky. Right idea. I won't say it was a poor ball, I'd say. It was a mix of communication. Right idea. But no, in seriousness, he's had a solid game. Smith. Through to Collins. Oh. Barkhouse and ball in. Jason Knight. Tom Barkhausen again. Smith coming over. Davis. Davis. Smith, no. Cameron Norman. An unforced error, you've got to say. Barkhausen. Collins. Jason Knight. Shit. You can tell he's used to playing at right back for so long because he's lost all shooting ability. I don't know if he ever had any, to be fair, but. Bullshit. And we're one nil down. And we're going to bring off Corey Smith. We're going to bring on Conor Hurahan. McGoldrick. Sibley for Knight. That'll do.
Well, that's unlucky. Thought he got the ball there. But he's not. Ricky, good. Sibley. Oh, yes. David, did you see that? Louis Sibley. He hates the man, by the way. He's a regular watcher. And that has shut him up. Uh, probably am. <laughs> right, what a goal. Great strike, first time, top bin. Lovely. Yes. And that keeps us in the FA Cup. Sibley, super sub Sibley. I'm sure he's going to hate the name. I'm going to call that. That's going to be the name of the video. I'm gonna, he's going to hate that. Could be an even bigger super sub here if he can get on the end of this. He can, but not going to do it with that, is he? Full back. Liam Thompson, shit shot. Trying a Sibley. Trying what he did. In a couple of episodes ago, to be honest, against Morecambe in the, I believe it was. Joshua Wilts, well done. Plays it over to his, no, it doesn't. Ricky's certainly been a lot better than Wilts, but Wilts has had moments of real quality. Davis, pretty good ball. Mendes Lang. And that's McGoldrick over to Barkhouse, and it is over to Barkhouse, and he does get there. Sibley. Well, Got to bring on Aaron Cashin for Curtis Davis. He is knackered. Is Curtis Davis? He's done fairly well, to be fair, for an old bloke. Chester, Thompson, Barkhausen, right to the byline. Another corner. That's really poor. Sibley does well. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh dear. Have to do it. Lewis. Lewis Collins. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Wilkes does well. And there one we one. The final whistle is sounded. Goals in this game, but no Does that go to a replay? I'm not sure. I think it does. Could have and should have won. Mendes Lang's there, great ball, good cross, good header. How's it not put that in? And James Collins could have had a handful. This one here, really good ball over to him. Got past his man, threw it into the side net instead of the back of the net. Excuse me. Oops. Mendes Lang with the opportunity here. Collins, who was immense today, if he wants scoring. That was a great ball to Mendes Lang. Chipped it over the keeper, and as you can see, just the wrong side, unfortunately, of the post. And a great save here. Again, that one was denying James Collins as well. He was a right nuisance. He had a really good game. Omar Bogle then got a goal. A very good goal. Very clinical finish. Nothing that James Chester could have done there. Really. But then Sibley. If you thought Bogle's over good, watch that. Ricky. And then Sibley. Really good. And you see, it's like, so annoying because look at the stats. We had, we had 16 shots today. They had three, and it was 1 1. What can you do? And up next, we have got Wickham Wanderers. We are top by two points. They are second. First v second. Chef Wednesday and Bolton have dropped off. First v second. That'll be interesting. We shall see you next episode for that. Like subscribe, take care, and bye.